Yo, what's good, fellas? Good morning. I'm recording this real quick right before I go into work. And excuse me, because I've been having a hard time finding content ideas. Now I'm on this caffeine break. I can't even lie. My creativity is not there, but I'm forcing myself to do this shit just because I know I need to do this. But the message for you guys today is get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Make other people uncomfortable. That's our biggest fucking problem nowadays. We keep seeking comfort. We have these little fucking cheap meals. We, we, we fucking beat our meat. We want to sleep in. We want to be lazy. We want to make other people comfortable. We want to make ourselves comfortable. But that is not what life is about. Life is about fucking getting uncomfortable as a man, at least. Because there is no end to the amount of comfort. But every time it gets less and less rewarding. Every time that comfort gets less and less rewarding, uncomfort, uncomfortness, however the fuck you say it, uncomfortability is more and more compounding every time you choose what is uncomfortable. When you choose to go on semen retention, when you choose to go into the gym every morning, when you choose to not drink caffeine. That's part of why I'm doing this caffeine break because I need to derive my body, deprive my body of that comfort. That comfort of the cup of coffee every morning that just gets the dopamine going and that gets me like, ah, now I can go work out. Fuck that shit. I wanna feel uncomfortable going into the gym. I want it to fucking hurt. And I don't want to make other people around me feel comfortable. Because that would be a disservice to them. That would be a disservice to masculinity. We have so many fucking pussies today nowadays. Because so many guys are choosing comfort. And you know when you're choosing comfort and you're feeling real fucking soft and sweet. You're going to make everybody around you feel the same fucking way. You want to make other people feel uncomfortable. You want to hold them to their word. You want to hold yourself to such a high standard. You can't hold other people to a high standard if you don't hold yourself to a high standard. That's one thing I've learned with this coaching business. I got to do 10 times more than my clients so that when I come on the calls with them, I'm holding them to a higher standard and they can fucking feel it. I'm so uncomfortable that I'm making them uncomfortable. Guys get on the phone with me. Guys join my coaching program thinking that it's going to be sweet. Thinking that it's going to be fucking sweet. Thinking that they're just going to get a couple workouts in here and there. Nah, big dog. Nah. Nah, because now you're going to have to adjust your whole fucking lifestyle now you can't be drinking anymore now you can't be smoking anymore now you can't be jerking your dick anymore because at the end of the day the fucking spirit the holy fucking spirit will figure that out because all those things are taking away from your workout all those things are taking away from your self-discipline. Guys get on my coaching program and think it's just about working out. Nah. Nah, working out is just a vessel. You just signed up for the self-improvement shit, baby. Welcome on board. We are about to get unfucking comfortable because I hold myself to a high standard because I need you to see results. 
Because if you are not getting me results, if you are not getting results, you are making me look bad. And you are doing a disservice to my business. So I need to hold myself to a higher standard so that when I come on these phone calls, you can fucking feel it. You can fucking feel that raw fucking testosterone. And for those of you who are considering joining my coaching program, considering applying, this shit is fun. I was just talking to a kid who said, I came on this program thinking it was gonna be bullshit, but I'm actually enjoying this shit. That's because discipline compounds. Discipline compounds because every time you make the uncomfortable choice, it becomes more and more satisfying and you start seeking out more discomfort. Just like when you seek comfort, just like when you choose what's comfortable, you start seeking more comfort. That's why I say every second of every day you have a choice. Do I choose what's comfortable or do I choose what's uncomfortable? That happens on a second to second basis. It happens with your thoughts. It happens with your actions. It happens with everything. It happens between whether you wanna sit up or stand down. Are you gonna sit down like a little bitch? Or are you gonna stand up when you know you need to? When you're tired as fuck? Are you gonna get to the gym and give it your all when you're tired as fuck? Are you gonna eat that chicken, that, that, that bland chicken and that fruit? Or are you gonna start looking for these bullshit little protein treats? Come on, we gotta hold ourselves to a higher standard. We gotta choose what's uncomfortable. We gotta make other people feel uncomfortable. Fuck making other people feel comfortable. We think, it's, we think it's a positive thing to make other people comfortable around us. You're a fucking man. We need to make other men uncomfortable. In a good way. In a good way. Because when I make you feel uncomfortable, Jesus Christ, Finn's going so fucking hard. I don't know if I wanna get on his coaching program. Oh, fuck. Now you're thinking about me. Now you get on my coaching program. And now that you're on it, when you think about missing that workout, now all you got is me living in the back of your head. Because you know every Sunday, you must atone for your sins. Nah, I'm not going to make you... I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna yell at you. I'm not gonna scream at you. You're just gonna fucking feel it when you fuck up. Because you know that I'm doing what I need to be doing. Make other people uncomfortable. Make yourself uncomfortable. Society tells us that we need to make, that we need to choose what's comfortable and we need to take all these easy fucking routes. Fuck that. Always take the harder route. Always make people feel uncomfortable around you. In a positive way. In a way where you're pushing them harder. That's it.